made me exalted. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Kataba soba katabai. Hallelujah. Let our king be lifted up. It's bigger than the mountains. It's bigger than the nations. It's bigger than the people. It's bigger than everything. Hallelujah. Let the king be lifted up. Oh, Hosanna. Hallelujah. Kato se bakota basatabaya. Rema dorobo shone bakaye bakoso godo. Rima zoma gade ma zoma dalabaya. Rima zoma gode bo shanda labaya baya. Ah, somebody be in an atmosphere of prayer. Oh, somebody pray without ceasing. The church ought to pray and not to pay. Oh, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Oh, let us pray for our children. Let us pray for our marriages. Let us pray for our finances. Let us pray for our siblings. Razoma Anda. Oh, somebody pray for your mind. That your mind will be set on things of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, pray for your mind. Where your mind goes, that's where your life goes. Ah, pray against the spirit of fear. Pray against the spirit of depression. Oh, you cover the presence of God. Wherever you go, you will not die before your time. The devil will not deceive you. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for those who have spinal problems, spinal issues. Amen. Some people cannot walk well because of spinal issues. Some people have pain in their back because of spinal issues. Somebody, you are watching by Facebook. You are here. I want you to hold your back. Wherever you feel the pain and begin to pray. The Spirit of God is here. The presence of God is here. Receive your healing right now. Oh, Rose, get You will not be paralyzed. Ah, ma, 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 ma. You will live and not die. You will live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Those who have neck problems, neck problems because of, of uh, neck problems because of the nerves. Oh, I pray healing for you right now. Receive your own healing in the name of Jesus. He sent this word to heal their disease. And be delivered them from their distractions in the name of Jesus. Shake him. Mazoma handa la mazoma zobo bolu. Rozo ke magada ma yegada. Randa la ma yeman bolu bojone. No more back pain. No more back pain. No more back pain. No more spinal pain. Come now in the name of Jesus. Where the spirit of the who even the spirit of man has set free is free in me. Father, we thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all the praise. Unto you be all the glory. Father, we thank you. We bless you. As we have come, we pray that you will be with us. Let every word that come from my mouth be a word of deliverance. Let every word that proceeds from my mouth be a word of healing. Yes. Oh, help me, subdue me under your blood, under the cross, so that your spirit will be enhanced. Yes. Your spirit will manifest. Your spirit will increase, and I will decrease, so that the people, myself, we shall all be blessed. Amen. Let the people say amen. amen. Hallelujah. This is a new day. Every new day comes with a new blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Every new day comes with a new blessing. I can't hear your amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Reba Today we are talking about the voice of God, the glory of His voice. The glory of his voice. The glory of his voice. There are so many voices, Sister Celestine. So many voices on Facebook. There are so many voices on the internet. There are so many voices on YouTube. But before I proceed, I want to recognize those who are watching by Facebook. God bless you so much. Sister Lloyd, let's give Sister Lloyd a hand. She is very grateful. Sister Lloyd, God bless you so much. And we have Sister Ya, Sister Yaya, also watching. Yes, yes, yes. And all those who are watching Sister Jackie, next time we want to see you in person, Sister Jackie. Hallelujah. If you are in the DMW area, please, we want you to come into the sanctuary. Hallelujah. 
I want you to come into the sanctuary. Hallelujah. The glory of his voice. The glory of his voice. The glory of his voice. The voice of God. Many have written books about the voice of God. Some say the voice of God is a dream. Others will tell you the voice of God is a prophecy. Some will say the voice of God is a vision. Some will say the voice of God is the word of God. Sister Jenna, can you see his voice? The voice of God is not what you only hear, but you can see it. I want to challenge everyone. So the voice of God, we shouldn't be limited when it comes to God. This is the thing because God is a spirit. Because it's a spirit, it can manifest in so many ways. It can come as a voice. The voice can be a still small voice. The voice can be like a thunder. The voice can be like a hurricane. The voice can be like a tornado. The voice of God manifests in so many ways. Because he's God all by himself. And he's very sovereign. Oh, somebody who are watching me by Facebook. It looks like it's so dire. It's so dry wherever you are. You are not hearing the voice of God. You are not hearing his voice anymore. But I want to assure you that God is still with you. He told uh, Joshua, I will not leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you even to the end of the days. Hallelujah. Amen. Hearing the voice of God. The glory of his voice. Hallelujah. The Bible says, my sheep knows my voice. And the voice of a stranger, they will not hear. My sheep knows my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not hear. God is sovereign. Psalm 37, let's look at 10 and 11. Psalm 37. Let's start from Psalm 37, 10 and 11. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for, for his place, but it shall be no more. Verse 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Let's look at Job 37, verse 23. Job chapter 37, verse 23. As for the Almighty, we cannot find him. He's excellent in power, in judgment, abundant justice. He does not oppress. This is talking about the sovereignty of God. Oh, somebody say the sovereignty of God. What that means is God is God by himself. He's almighty. He said, as for the almighty, you cannot find him. You cannot comprehend him. You cannot find a formula for him. God is mighty by himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As for the almighty, he's excellent in power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's excellent in power. God is so supreme. Hallelujah. Amen. That we cannot be compared to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's excellent in power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me build this foundation and then we will move on. Deuteronomy 30. Let's look at verse 10 of Deuteronomy chapter 30. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God, if you obey what? The voice. What about if you can't hear the voice? That's the topic for today. If you obey, so this is the quagmire, this is the conundrum, this is the problem with many Christians. He said, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God, Father, help us to obey your voice. Amen. The voice of God can be like a dream. The voice of God can come in the form of a vision. The voice of God can come in the written word of God or in the spoken word. The written word is the word of God, which is found in the Bible. Hallelujah. So he said, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God, but how, what will happen if you don't know this voice? If you obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in the book of the law, and if you Turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. We know the miracles and the blessings that will happen. Amen. If you do this, Amen. if you hearken to the voice. Amen. Today I want to stress, it's not only enough to go to church. Amen. You have to obey the voice. Amen. You have to find the voice of Amen. God. Oh, Father, help us to find your voice. Yes, Lord. 
Now what this? The word of the Lord came to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15. And he said, Abraham, I'm your comfort. I'm your exceedingly great reward. The voice of the Lord came to Abraham and told him, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. Yeah. That's the voice of God to Abraham. Amen. What about if the voice of God or the word of God does not come to you? What do you do? Mm. That's what we are now. Mm. You have to go seek the word of God. Mm. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4, let's look at Jeremiah 1 4. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, You see, so I want to bring a difference, Sister Celestine, that the word of the Lord can come to you. But there are times you have to go seek the word of the Lord. Many are going through issues and problems. What they have to do is to go seek the word of the Lord. We make many decisions every day. Now, today, what I was going to talk about, it changed by the grace of God. Amen. Mr. Jimia. Amen. Because I was asking questions. Do you know why most of us we are in trouble? We don't ask questions. So there is no understanding. So we are going through issues. Mm. Because we don't ask questions. Yes. If you have you ask questions, you will find out. Somebody will say, Oh, Pastor, I can't hear the voice of God. Begin asking simple questions. Oh God, why is this delay? I'm not saying we should we should challenge God. Some people, the way you ask the question can bring doubt and unbelief. Mm. But you have to ask questions, and when you ask, you will find. When you knock, it shall be open. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, the word of the Lord came to me saying, the word of the Lord. When was the last time the word of the Lord came to you? Mm. There are certain situations the word of the Lord will not come to you. Mm. You have to go find the word Amen. of the Lord. Amen. That is the essence of today's sermon. Yes. And when you find the word of the Lord, there is glory. Yes. Because where the voice of God is, the presence of God is there. Amen. As you see, you, as you hear my voice now, mm. I am present here. Yes. So, Mr. Julia, when you don't speak, people cannot know your presence. Mm -hmm. Matthew, the same. Mm. Janelle, everyone, Jesse. Mm. When you don't, people cannot recognize you mm. when you are not speaking. Mm -hmm. So, where you speak, where your presence is, your voice is there. Yes. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, let's continue, please. Amen. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Amen. This is the voice, the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah, the prophet. Why would the word of the Lord come to Jeremiah? To assure him, to give him confidence, Amen. and to help him, yes. to strengthen him. Yes. And the voice of the Lord spoke to Jeremiah. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you, and I ordained you and called you a prophet to the nations. This is the voice of the Lord. Yes. But some of us, we become like a Jessica. Mm. We have to go and seek for the voice of God. Amen. The voice of God is what will bring us solutions. Amen. The voice of God is what will help us out of our problems. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me divert a bit. Let me move on a bit. Also, along the same line, there is a professor in Stanford called Robert Sapolsky. Those who have been reading the news. He's a professor of biology and neurology. He's written a book called Determined or Determinism. Mm. To be determined. It says that human beings don't have the free choice. Mm. Human beings, we don't have free choice. Mm. Free choice is a lie. Mm. And 11% of philosophers agree with him. 60% mm. do not. Mm. Now, is it true that human beings will have a free choice? Now, you can't hear the voice of God if you do your own thing. Mm -hmm. If all you do is what you know, mm -hmm. if all you do is you don't want to change, you move by your emotions, and you move by how you are led by self, mm -hmm. you can't hear the voice of God. Mm -hmm. The voice of God is sometimes hidden. Mm -hmm. So what is this man said, now, I can choose what shirt I will wear to church, or I was able to choose. Mm -hmm. I have the choice. Do I wear a red shirt, a blue shirt, a yellow shirt? And this man said, it's already determined. It's predetermined. The professor of biology says it's determined. You don't have a choice. He said, because of your environment, your school, which your culture, your education, which I agree a bit. I agree a bit. Now, what this? In five years, Mr. Frankie, or in four years, when you, you go into the wardrobe of your two girls, 
you'll be so surprised what they will pick for a particular party. This one will pick this, another one will pick a similar one because they grew up in the same house, they went to the same school, they were brought up by the same parent. So what I'm saying is that the environment you grew up with, you grew up from, determines some of the things you do. That is why I agree with this professor to an extent. So how do we break out as Christians from this type of environment? So if you are not careful, all your choices will be because of your background. That is why the unrenewed mind is dead. I don't care how many times you pray or how many times you go to church. That is good. But you are in a mold. You have not broken out of that mold. Including myself. So one time, before I read this man's uh, thesis or hypothesis, one principle I have is that some of my friends that I grew up with, we have a common mindset, which is true. And the man is talking along the same line. But this is the mistake the professor made. He said, because of that, we are not responsible for anything. That one is wrong. Because if I have the book, if I drop this book, this book doesn't have a choice whether to fall or not. If I drop it, fall. Under gravity, mm-hmm. yes. the book will fall. So it's determined. Yes. But I have a choice whether to wear a black shoe or a brown shoe. Mm-hmm. And I'm responsible for my choices and my decisions. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have a choice. So because of that, he said for murderers, people commit murder. Mm-hmm. They are not responsible for their actions. Mm-hmm. But they have to be put in jail so that they don't have others. That's his uh, conclusion. But we know it's not true. So how do I make sure in the midst of my environment, my culture, my education and my mindset, I'm able to follow the voice of God? How do I do that? Let's look at Deuteronomy 30. Did we look at verse 10 already? Deuteronomy 30, verse 10. We did then let's look at 20, Deuteronomy 30, 20. The voice of God. Oh, the voice of God is your key out of wherever you are. The voice of God. One voice of God will change your life, Mr. Junior. Amen. Just one voice of God. Amen. That you may love the Lord thy God, that you may obey his word. You may obey his word. Oh, I can't hear you guys. That you may obey his voice. Yes. How many of us are obeying the voice of God? Or we are obeying the voice of friends, mm. family members? Amen. We can do everything we want. Yeah. But which one is the voice of God? Yes. Yeah. The voice of God brings liberty. The voice of God brings healing. Now watch this. The difference between David and Saul was not that David was special. David loved God. Because he loved God, he was able to obey his voice. Amen. So in First Samuel chapter 30, they were in a place called Zechariah. The whole city has been burned down. All the possessions taken away. The women and the children have been taken. Massacre. How many people are in this situation? Look at Job. He was in a very terrible place. But Job kept his integrity. Amen. David encouraged himself in the law. He took the ephah from the piata. The ephah signified the presence of Amen. He took the effort from Abiata, and we all know what happened. David inquired for the voice of God. I pray for this church that God will help us to seek His voice. Amen. Do not go with popular opinion. Yes, Lord. The voice of God. Everybody will tell you, oh, what your wife is doing is wrong. But what is God telling you? Everybody will tell you, oh, give up and die. Mm. All the doctors report are saying that you have to give up and die. Mm. But what is God saying? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I pray for everyone, mm. all of us, that God will help us. So do you believe in determinism? Mm. Is your life determined that you can't do anything because of your father? No, really. Because of the country you are coming from? No. If you can hear the voice of God, the situation will turn around. Amen. And what Amen. is the voice of God? He said, if you love the Lord your God and you obey his voice, yes. 
If you obey his voice, Let's look at other scriptures. Joshua 24, verse 11. Joshua chapter 24, verse 11. He said, well, please check if it's on AC or either. Or oh, maybe it's off. It's getting a bit hot here. Then you went over the Jordan and came to Jericho. And the men of Jericho fought against you. Also the Amorite, the Parasite. Also the Amorite, the Parasite, the Gigagite, the Hittite, the Hivite, the Jebusite. But I deliver them into your hands. Let's continue. Of 24, 15. Joshua 24, 15. He said, the last part. Choose ye this day who you serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So to serve the Lord is a choice. To serve the Lord is a choice. Hallelujah. Choose ye this day who you serve. Now some people have vowed to kill you. Or they have vowed not to have anything to do with you. And the Lord said, take a phone and call them. What are you going to do? The voice of the Lord has blessing. The voice of the Lord brings healing. John chapter 7 verse 17. Anyone wills to do his will, he shall know concerning the doctrine. If anyone is willing to do his will, to do, to do the will of the Father, Amen. oh, it will take a, it, it costs to do his will. It costs to do the will of the Father. Are you determined to do his will? Now, let me put it into perspective. When things are hopeless and useless, what will be your situation or what will be your outcome? How will you conclude? Will you follow the will of God or will you follow the will of friends? Friends will tell you, oh, give up. They came to Job. They said, ah, 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 ah. Job, nobody can be in this situation, this condition, if you are not sin against God. That's why you have to know all your friends. Yes. Some friends will come to you only when you are at the top. <laughs> they say, you know your real friends. If you want to know your real friends, see yourself when you lose your job, you know your real friends. When you are sick, you know your real friends. When something happens to you, that's when you know your real friends. When you have money, the, those who are around you, many of them are acquaintances. If you can count your real friends and they are more than two, I'll give you an award. Friends, I'm not talking about acquaintances. So the kids here, maybe you have friends because you are getting 90% every time. And you have to do their homework for them. <laughs> so yeah, you call them your friends. They are not your real friends. Let one day come. You, you are not able to go to school. Mm. You will find another person to help them with their homework. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is why you have to know who you are. Yes. You have to know who has called you. Yes, he said, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved by the word of God. I had lunch with Pastor Mike yesterday. And he was explaining to me. He was telling me that there's a difference between relationship and friendship. A difference between relationship and friendship. Hallelujah. Amen. And that in relationship, if the relationship is not tested, when you are up and down, it's not the person is not a friend. Amen. Let's look at Mark chapter 8, verse 34. We'll close very soon. Mark 8.34 The voice of God If you want to know A genuine man of God A genuine woman of God Genuine men and women of God They are tested with the voice of God They are tested With the voice of God God sent a prophet In 2 Kings To do something in the sanctuary He told him Sister Jesse Don't turn to the left or to the right Don't turn to the left or to the right 
Don't go to anybody's house and eat until you have finished the purpose. Don't move to the left or to the right. Yeah. Joshua told, God told Joshua, the word of the Lord I'm bringing to you, don't turn to it from the left or to the right. Yes. This prophet went, he was young, inexperienced. Mm. He went to the temple to finish everything. He's done well. Mm. When he was returning, he met this older prophet. Mm. He said, come to my house and eat. I'm a prophet like you. Love. God doesn't joke. Mm. That is why sometimes I talk to some pastors and they tell me, or even friends, they tell me about this type of thing. To be a pastor, you have to pray like you are crazy. Mm. Because you don't know what is happening spiritually. Yes. Yeah. It's not a job to be taken lightly. Like Hallelujah. Amen. But the key thing is obedience. Amen. To obey is better than sacrifice. Amen. So it is not when to prepare to do what all what the Lord has told him to do. When he was coming back, he met his older prophet, Mr. Junior. And the older prophet told him, I'm a prophet like you. God said, come to my house and eat. God said, that's what happened to Adam and Eve. Deception. If you are deceived, I don't care how many times you pray. Deception. Because deception is what will fight me from obeying the word of God. If I'm deceived, I'm blinded. So this man just followed him. When he went, guess what? The word of the Lord came through the old prophet. That because you have disobeyed the word of God, you will be destroyed by a lion. Oh my goodness. God have mercy on all of us. What if you are going to give that money to somebody and God tells you no? <laughs> will you continue? I will let you hear the voice. <laughs> I hope, I hope I'm not touching anyone. This one goes to me too. <laughs> because you, are, you want to help the person. That's what those of us with a good heart. What about God is telling you no? God knows what we don't know. God sees what we don't see. The voice of the Lord brings glory. Maybe God is helping you. Some of us want to help people. Sometimes, when you want to help people, it may not be the time. Yes. Anyway. Amen. <laughs> Let me move on. Amen. Mark 8, 34. When he had called the people to himself, with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him what? Deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. So what I'm saying here is this. It's a choice. Amen. It's a choice. It's a choice. So that professor, Stanford professor, who said we are determined. You have people in your mother's house who don't want to give their lives to Christ. So it's a choice. You are not determined. You are not bound because of your environment. You have a choice. Whoever wants to follow me must what? Deny himself. Take his cross Amen. When God told Abraham, take your only son Isaac and sacrifice on Mount Moriah, Abraham could have said no. Abraham could have gone out the son, his only son. But he didn't do that. Let's look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. And then we'll close soon. Amen. <laughs> I don't have Mr. Moss to tell me to your time. <laughs> Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him. Amen. If anyone, so it's up to us to open the door or yes. close the door. Yes. So you have a choice. But our choices, is it the choice of God? Is it the will of God? Is it the voice of God? Hallelujah. Amen. This is where the church is. The church in general. This is where the pastor is, where we are. The will of God is full of blessings. Genesis chapter 2, 16 to 17. Genesis 2, 16 to 17. And the Lord commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, 
But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. This is the voice of God. It came to him. So there are two parts. Either the voice of God comes to you, or you go for the voice of God. Where are you now? But I pray that God will help all of us. Amen. That whether the voice of God has come to us, or if we are going for the voice of God, we shall be obedient. Hallelujah. Amen. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, Amen. you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. die. But we know that we will not die. We obey the voice of God. And the voice of a stranger who will not hear. That is why Fridays, we used to have prayer meetings on Fridays in person. But because of COVID, we stopped. We want to bring it back. If it is one person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because some of the things I was called. Well, maybe I can't say this here. <laughs> so it is things, pastors have to be discreet. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 1, 12 to 13. I hope I'm charging all of us. Let's seek the voice of God. Let's seek the voice of God. Let's seek God. This situation, what do you want me to do? God speaks. He's a speaking spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. John 1, 12 to 13. But as many as received him, he gave them what? The right, the power to become the children of God, even those who believe. But as many as what? Receive him. What about some people who are not receiving him? So, Matthew, let me ask this question. When was the last time God spoke to you? God is speaking. He can speak in a dream. Yes. You can go and seek the face of God. Joshua, a powerful man of God, when they lost the battle in Ai, he went on his face yes. and he sought God. Yes. God, what has just happened? Yes. You promised us that we will win all our battles. Do you know why we don't do that? We are afraid that God will not speak. We are afraid that it will take long. That is where we have to be. Oh, I don't know if I'm communicating. We have to go seek after God's face. We have to go seek for the voice of God. We don't wait when problems come. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, your way is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God. Amen. God has a good plan for you, Jesus plans of good and not of evil to give you a hope and a future. I'm quoting Jeremiah 29, 11. God has a plan for all of us. God has a plan for God is sovereign. Now some people will say that if God wants to bless me, he will bless me. That's what some will say. If God wants to bless me, he will bless me. But we have a choice. It's between grace and faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So what do we have to do in closing? Okay, let's look at James chapter 1, 13 to 7, 16, before we continue, before we conclude. James 1, 13 to 16. Let no one say when he's tempted, I'm tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil. Nor does he himself tempt anyone. Some will say, oh, just like the professor was saying, it's pretty terrible. You know, some people they blame people. They say, because my father did not take me to school. That's why I'm where I am. Because my father did this, we have to take responsibility. Amen. We can take that responsibility by hearing the voice of God. Amen. Somebody, you are one voice of God away from your breakthrough. Yes. That voice of God will bring a separation. Yes. You know, the church, we are trying to do evangelism to fill the chairs. Oh, Father, give us a voice. Amen. Send us a voice. Amen. He said, if there's a prophet among you, I speak to him in dreams and visions. Amen. But Moses, my servant, is also. Yes. I talk to him face to face. Yes. Let no one say, oh, I was tempted by God. Oh, I didn't have a clue because of my background. But he said, 
Let's go to the next verse, please. But let each one is tempted when he is drawn away from his desires and enticed. Let's continue. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it has fully grown, brings forth death. But today, God is empowering us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I visited a woman the other time and she told me something. She used to come to this church. And maybe this will help the boys here. Because when I did a survey, I realized that this affected a lot of the boys. Is there some of the boys when they go to school or the children and they don't fit in? Mr. Frankie, they don't fit in. So if a group comes and accept them, they follow that group. So unbeknown to them, that group may be a wrong group. But because they didn't accept them, they just follow. So please, the kids here, don't just follow people. Because this group has not accepted you. When other people come, they may be sheep in whose glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. The glory of his voice. Amen. David was a man who followed the voice of God. Mr. Abel, it was time for David to become a king. Saul had died. All of us will go to where the king makers are. But Mr. Sadiq, David, he saw the face of God. Amen. Should I go to Judah? Amen. God said, yes, it's time to go to Judah. of God. Amen. It will bring the glory of God. Amen. The Shekinah glory. Amen. Oh God, help me. Amen. As a pastor, as a husband, as a brother, I need the voice of God. Amen. I don't need to go into general things. Amen. God said he has blessed me. How? Amen. When? Amen. If you don't get that general and that specific instruction, yeah. you follow after other men. Yeah. They'll say, oh, it's coming tomorrow. Oh, this year is your year. That's general for me. I've had so many pastors tell me. It's general, specifically, what is God telling me? Mm -hmm. That's the power thereof. Amen. Amen. That's the power thereof. Amen. And you can convince yourself. I remember when we were going to college, a friend of mine, some of us, our fathers were not very educated. They've not been to college, so they didn't know about the courses, the classes, the schools. So a friend of mine whose father was educated, this is what he told him. Some of us were torn between doing electrical engineering and chemical engineering and civil engineering. The friend said, make it, the, the father told him, make your own choice. It's always better to blame yourself than to blame somebody. So if you make your decision and you make a wrong decision, it's on you. You can forgive yourself easily. But if somebody does it, you always have a chip on your shoulder for their person. So when I met my wife, I had more than 20 prophets. This one I said, I'm going to make my own decision. <laughs> Esther, Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Yeah. It wasn't time for her to see the king. Mm -hmm. In those days, the kings, they were a bit hyper. They can kill you. Mm -hmm. He said, if I perish, I perish. Yes. So some of the choices, the case. I'm not saying don't tell your parents. Mm -hmm. Aha. But there are times where it's between you and God. Hallelujah. Yeah. The choices we make. Yes. Now, there was a woman called Naomi. Naomi was a Jew from Israel. She went to the land of the Moabites because of famine. We all know the story. Yes. The husband died. The sons died. Mm. The sons were married to Opa and Ruth. Yes. So Opa and Ruth, they started following Naomi. They didn't know where they were going or what Naomi was up to. And then Opa was tired. Ruth continued to follow Naomi. And Ruth was married to Boaz, yes. a kinsman redeemer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Choices. Amen. 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 Lord, help me Amen. in my choices. Amen. We have to pursue the will of God. Amen. Because of what I have mentioned already. Because some of us, we are, what's the word? We are molded in our own culture, in our own mindset, in our own environment. So if the will of God does not penetrate all these, be difficult. We'll stay in that mold. And it will be difficult. That is why the church, we have to reach out to white Americans. When was the last time we, we talked to a white American and come to this church? Because in our minds, we think they will not come. They will not like our food. They will not like our culture. When was the last time we said African Americans, come. Some of them come here by accident because maybe they were going to the other churches. They said, oh, this one doesn't belong here. No, they do. <laughs> they belong here. Hallelujah. That is how the species come. Amen. 
Is there who you have a cup of new energy, Mr. Sadiq? Yes. You guys rally us. Let's yes. go to the, the houses. Let's bring people here. Amen. 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 Because some of us we've done we've gone door to door. You can ask Sister Ingrid. <laughs> We're going like crazy. But God rewards rewards the heart. Amen. Yes, we've sown a lot of seed. Amen. We know in due season yes. we'll reap the harvest. So, Pastor, what do we do? One, we have to love God. But loving God alone will not be enough. David loved God. He was a man after God's own heart. Yes. But what did he do? He sought the voice of God. Amen. He Amen. sought the voice of God. So, if the voice of God is not coming to you in a dream, in a vision, or through His word that you have read, you have to specifically seek His voice. What is the voice of God concerning this church? Generally, we've had more than 10 dreams. Mm. 10 dreams, I can tell you. A lot of people, they say, oh, the church has changed. Mm -hmm. Many people. Yes. How does it come to pass? Yes. What do we have to do? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe Sister Celestine has to start inviting people again. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what do we have to do to get there? Oh, God, help us. Mm. And it doesn't help. Stop, stop here. We have to pray about it. That's why we are bringing back our Friday prayers. Amen. We used to do that before COVID. And then COVID, we stopped. Hallelujah. Amen. So one hour, when we come, as many as are here, we can pace back and forth, pace back and forth, pray for marriages, pray for the church, pray for the pastor, pray for the leaders, pray for everyone in the church. That's how the church will grow. We are online. Our prayer now is more than before. Online, we are praying yeah. seriously. Monday to Friday. But let's start in person. And this will be just in the church. Amen. We will not broadcast it until maybe further notice. But Amen. it will just be in the church. Let's come pray for our children. Our children especially. They say number one people who are depressed. School children. Mm. College students. Children. High school children. Mm. Lonely. Hallelujah. But the Lord is helping us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to love God, but we have to look for His voice. Amen. God bless all of us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The voice of God. Hearing the voice of God. That was so powerful. Let's give us another clap for Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor. We all need to hear the voice of God. And I know we are hearing it. But the thing is, are we listening? Are we obeying? Because God is always speaking. Those of us that dream, those of us that see visions, prophecies, um, you see the counselor, your manager, your supervisor, your pastor, somebody older than you, could be somebody younger than you talking to you. And the way they are talking, does it make sense? Does it click something? Are you listening? Are you taking some sense from it? Are you using it? Because you can hear it. But if you don't use it, what are you doing? God is saying, do this. Go to the left. And you look at the left and it's like, oh, no, there's dirt over there. I got my pretty shoe on. I don't want to get my shoe dirty. I got my nice dress. I don't want to get my dress dirty. Maybe God just wants you to sleep on the floor. That's what he wants you to do. Just sleep there. Just go posture on the floor and just cry out unto him. Maybe he just wants you to lift your hand up. This one is first, I have to say this. When we first got married, I was such a price, right? And we don't do any other charismatic raising hands, speaking in tongues. And when we would go to church, it literally first pick up my hand to raise it up, and I literally also put it down. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not supposed to do that. I can't do that. I can raise my hand up and praise God. But here I am now. He didn't keep pushing me and lifting my arm up or my hand up. But here I am now raising my hand and thanking God and waving and shouting by myself. Amen. So God is speaking to us. He's talking to us. Are we doing it? Are we listening? He can keep doing it. 17 years now, would he have been able to keep raising my hand, lifting my hand every day? I had to listen. I had to also be convicted, you know, and be able to, to do this on my own. And now he can put my hand down because I'm like, hey, here I am. 
what is yours we all have it it could be big it could be small you know you don't know but we have to listen to the voice of god and do it not just listen we hear it we should do it to what he's telling us to do amen, amen. all right it is time for offering we'll call right here uncle frankie to continue amen 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 amen, amen.
you so much, Uncle Frankie. Thank you, thank you, and thank you everybody for coming in person and watching online. So the new, I know we did an announcement on the uh, WhatsApp phone, but there is Friday meeting starting 7 p.m. this Friday the 19th. So if you are here and you can come, please come in. If you are listening and you are watching and by the DMW and you can come in, please, 7 p.m. Just for one hour, 7 to 8. Just going to be here to pray and thank God and put all our supplications onto Him. Amen. Amen. And so we we'll call Pastor to close us. Amen. 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 Uh, I wanted to pray for some of the people who are online. Sister Lloyd, I'm, I'm praying for you. We are all we are all praying for you now. Let's stretch out our hands and pray for Sister Lloyd. Very faithful online, following the church everywhere. Sister Maureen, God bless you so much. In the name of Jesus. And all those who are watching, I can't pick the names from here. I think I'm only allowed to see a certain amount of names. Sister Yah, God bless you. Father, we thank you for all those who are watching online. We thank you for everyone here. This week we pray your blessing to come upon us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray that you help us to seek your voice. That is only a few, only a few, a few children of God seek his voice. Help us to seek your voice. Oh Lord God, no matter how long it takes, help us to find your voice. And glorify all those who are seeking, those who are tired wherever they are, and looking for something new, looking for, oh Lord, your freshness and your voice, your presence. We pray that you visit all of them with your presence, with your voice. We thank you and bless you. Remove lack from us. As we live here, we are not living in your presence. Let your presence supply all our needs. According to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless all of us.